Hello there. Earlier today I was watching an incredible video by an incredible channel called Dirty Civilian. If you haven't heard of Dirty Civilian, I'll put a link to their channel down below. And they are an incredible channel, a couple of uh, really based guys that uh, talk a lot about preparedness, different aspects of preparedness. Again, they're very based and most of their video content is hilarious. These guys leave the news to the news anchors. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> and uh, and they do a really good job. Their, their content is really produced well. I couldn't uh, recommend them enough. Again, I'll put a link down below. You guys know I don't normally swoon over other content creators or anything like that. So, anyway, today's video was about water storage. And it was not an, an incredible video, like usual. And uh, they were going through, they had a guest that was showing a bunch of different options. And when he was talking about the portable water storage options, one of those options that he pointed out was what you see in front of you. The Lifesaver Jerry Can Water Purifier. What makes this different from most others is because it's got a water filter built right in and it's got a pump built in. So literally you put your water into the can, you pump it up and it will dispense filtered right out of the nozzle. I thought that was really, really cool until I saw the price of it. I had to go find a bungee cord so I could strap my jaw up to get it back up off the ground. This thing, no matter how cool it is, is quite a bit more expensive, in my opinion, than what it's worth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to build one for under $90, tax not included. And I'm going to show you a real quick and easy way to build this. I'm going to show you a diagram of what it should look like or roughly what it should look like. The most you'll need is maybe a little, maybe a pair of pliers, right? And, an, and a knife. That's it. That's the only tools you'll need, a pair of pliers and a knife. So let's get started. First off, you're going to need a water storage container. Now, the important thing about the water storage container is that the lid that it has you need it to have a three-quarter inch knockout, okay? And so the larger lid that you see there on the left-hand side, it has a knockout, what they call a knockout. It's essentially like a plug. So you're going to need to take that out in order to do this. So this here particular, and I'll keep a running total down uh, on the screen here. This particular water storage container, as you see, is $19.49. Is it going to be the best quality storage container in the world? Probably not, but it is BPA-free, it is food grade, and it does have the proper cap that we need. Now, I want you to pay attention to the vent cap on the back side. And that vent cap is, here, let me get this up here so you can see my mouse, hopefully. That vent cap from all the researching that I can do, says that that vent cap is going to have a three-quarter inch male thread, not the cap itself, but the, the storage container. If I am incorrect on that, someone please correct me, and I will put it at the very top of the pinned comment and in the description uh, that I had been corrected and give the right size. So, but all of the research, if I could afford to build this and, and build it on camera for you, I would. But I can't afford to do it. It is what it is. So, everything that I can find says that that is three-quarter inch male. Okay? So, we are going to run with that. So, we've got our water, water storage container, $19.49. We're going to need a way to filter the water. This here is a Sawyer water filter. You've seen them. You've seen them plenty. However, this is a Sawyer Mini that's dual threaded. That means it's got threads on both sides of it. That's not as common as what, you know, the, the usual Sawyer Mini that you run across, okay? Most Sawyer Minis only have threads on one side. So this is a particular model of Sawyer Mini. And it costs $27.75. I'll put all these links. They will be Amazon affiliate links. So I will get a credit if you do purchase it. Uh, but I will put all the links to all these items. Amazon affiliate links down in the description and in the first comment. And uh, that way it will help you find it a little bit easier. So 
we're going to use that water storage container and this filter. So we're going to need a way to connect the two together, right? So that's where this comes in. They're GHT or um, garden hose thread, right, on both sides, male and female. So what you're going to do is that's why you need the dual threaded side, you know, dual threaded um, Sawyer Mini. So what you're going to do is you're essentially going to just screw your, your Sawyer Mini right into the female side of this. And you're going to screw the male into the cap. The larger cap and I've, again I've got an image that you'll see that will show you exactly how it goes together this would be the hose that you're going to use on the other side of the filter and again I have links to all of this what you'll want to do you're going to be needing the male end which is going to be um, up here the um, I mean bring this up again so you can see up here you're going to want that male end and you're going to just basically cut the hose off to where you need it, right? You're going to, and you don't have to cut the hose off. You could leave it together. That's just fine. So either way, it doesn't matter either way. But uh, this is the hose and, and just to kind of, oh, we haven't been keeping up on the, on the screen. I'll keep up on, on the amounts. But uh, where are we at? We have the hose here. And so we're going to be at $66.27 all combined. As you see, that hose, at least right now at the time of this video, is $10.04. So again, that's going to bring our grand total so far up to $66.27. So let's continue on. We're going to want something to dispense out of. We're not going to just want, you know, that open cap. So this is, this is one common way people would dispense it. You may have a different... Uh, different idea in mind and that's perfectly fine too. just adapt it however it is that you need it this is the way I came up with and as you see that six dollars and ninety nine cents that bring us brings us up to grand total uh, so far anyway of seventy three dollars and twenty six cents and again you're gonna see a picture I think that's actually next and there you go that is a, a mock-up that I did in Photoshop of how the pieces would go together. All right, and of course the, the hose is cut off because I've only got so much room on the image. But that is, that is exactly how you would assemble this together. This would be the order of the parts as you would put it together. Now, we've got a Schrader valve. Now this is where if, that, if I am wrong about that, that smaller size, uh, the vent cap, Please let me know. But this here is a, a GHT thread, garden hose thread, uh, to a Schrader valve. Just like uh, on a tire, car tire, bike tire, right? Schrader valve. Pretty simple. And again, this, this doesn't take a lot of, a lot of uh, thought. That Schrader valve, you would take this cap off and screw the Schrader valve on. That easy. No fuss, no muss. Just screw it right on. Then... You get yourself an air pump, and I know I haven't been keeping up on the where we're at, but that's okay. This is the last component. You get an air pump. This is just the one that I picked off of, of Amazon. Um, just get an air pump. It doesn't have to be anything super special. Uh, in fact, it could be one that, like you use for uh, airing up mattresses, if you want it, you know, air mattresses, because it doesn't have to be super powerful, and that's my warning to you. It would be super easy to explode this water container okay most any water container is going to be pretty easy to blow it up with an air <laughs> with an air pump so you have to be very 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 easy so here's just an inexpensive air pump that was on uh, Amazon and there's only one key thing I want to point out about picking out an air pump for this purpose and that is uh, you're going to want on the, let me blow this, oh, not that picture, no, give me the first picture. You're going to want uh, something that has a lock on it. So in other words, when, when you put the, uh, the chuck, the air chuck over top of the Schrader valve, uh, this latch here will latch it down. That way you can just latch it to the top of it and you don't have to sit there and hold it while you're pumping air into the container. That's it. That is, that is it. After you do that, Fill it up with water, put a little bit of air into it, and uh, and you're good to go. I mean, 
how much easier can you get than that and you're essentially building the exact same thing now you may want to put some type of a valve in there because as that stands just as i've shown you as long as there's air in there it's going to be pushing water out so in other words if you'd want it one to stop pushing that water out which you'd probably do is take one and loosen one of the caps to let the air out of it you could most certainly put a valve in and uh and and you would fix that so where would you put your valve well let's see let's go back to that picture you'd put your valve right here if you can see on the image uh, i don't know if you can see that or not on the image uh yeah you can see my mouse um right here and between the barbed nipple and uh, and the cap here is where you would put your valve. So if you want to add a valve, you'd put it right in there, and that would definitely knock it over our ninety ninety dollars because uh, all of that combined that I showed you would cost eighty nine dollars and seventy four cents plus tax plus tax. I did not include tax in there. So anyway, it's it's real quick and simple way to achieve the same thing and save yourself a couple of hundred bucks you know what i mean hope you have a great day hope you got some ideas from this and i hope you save some money doing it shalom